Hello guys, <laughs> welcome back to my YouTube channel because in India-United States relations we're going to talk about the history of the British Raj in 1893 to 1947. Let's get started. So, hmm. so this is the relations between British Raj and the United States of America. But what were the relationships of these countries look like? The relationships between India in the days of British Raj and the United States were thin. As you seen in this picture, these are the two flags in which in which in the upper side this is the flag of the British Raj or British rule and we got here United States with 48 stars. In Swami Vivekananda's martial arts in Chicago, Illinois, United States, Swami Vivekananda trained yoga at Vedanta, the United States at the World's Parliament of Religions in Chicago, Illinois, United States, during the World's Fair in 1893. As you seen in this picture, this is Swami Vivekananda with Gandhi, Dharma Fanda, and Nikola Tesla, the one who in invented the Tesla coil. Mark Twain visits India. Mark Twain visited India in 1896 and described it in his travelogue follow the equator with both revulsion and attraction before concluding that India was the only foreign land he dreamed about or longed to see again. It is seen in this picture again. This is the Mark Twain's picture in 1896 in which he is sitting on the on the rocking chair here in Bombay in India or in the present day they're called as Mumbai so so this is the following the equator travelogue Rudyard Kipling regarding India Americans learned more from English writer Rudyard Kipling. So in this picture, this is Rudyard Kipling. But who is Rudyard Kipling? Rudyard Kipling was an English writer and a politician in the United Kingdom or Great Britain. And he is also visited India also in the late 1890s. Mahatma Gandhi and Martin Luther King Jr. Mahatma Gandhi had an important influence in the philosophy of nonviolence promoted by American civil rights movement leader Martin Luther King Jr. in the 1950s. In this picture, this is how Martin Luther King be, be and know about his memories in the 1940s when, when he was a teenager and he was writing like letters and then and from him to be okay because Mahatma Gandhi died in 19 I think in 1946 or 1948 but but Martin Luther King Jr has died in 1968 so this is the start of World War two so how did World War two started in India 
everything changed during World War II when India became the main base for the American China Burma India theater in the war against Japan. So these are the countries in the American China Burma India theater and their enemy. Because on the left side, that's the Allies. So that's USA with 48 stars, China with the Taiwan flag, and the state of Burma and British Raj, and their enemy was the Japanese Empire. American generals in Calcutta, India, or in the present day, it was Kolkata. Tens of thousands of American servicemen and generals arrived, bringing sorts of advanced technology and money they left in 1945. As you seen in this picture, these are the men in the, in the Calcutta market in Calcutta, India, in which they are buying some guns, some weapons, swords, some knives, and, and every tactics that they were using in the war. Eruption of World War II in India Serious tension erupted over American demands, led by Franklin D. Roosevelt, that India be given independence, a proposition Churchill vehemently rejected. In this picture, this is how Franklin D. Roosevelt will gain, will gain independence in British Raj because British Raj wants to reject Winston Churchill and kill them. But they didn't kill Winston Churchill, but he sent them in jail, but he didn't die. European colonies. The American position was based on an opposition to Europeans having colonies and a practical concern for the outcome of the war, and the expectation of a large American role in the post-independence era. So, so this is the European colonies from the, from the American states. So that's, so this is Western, I mean, Eastern Africa, and you know, Eastern Africa is. These were Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, Virginia, West Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, and, and also Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, and Michigan, Wisconsin, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio. And these states were the colonies of Europe, except Nazi Germany and Italy, because they were Axis. Indian activists in World War II. In 1942, when the Indian National Congress launched a quit India movement, the colonial authorities arrested tens of thousands of activists. During World War II, the Panagar Airport in the state of West Bengal in India was used as a supply transport airfield from 1943 to 1945 by the United States Army Air Force, 10th Air Force, and as repair and maintenance depot from B-24 Liberator Heavy Bombers by Air Technical Service Command. So this is the actual photo of the Panagar Airport. And this is the actual photo of the B-24 Liberator. And also, thank you for watching, and if you enjoy this, subscribe to my channel, like and share this video, and comment any words in the comment section below. Do not comment words with hate speech, 
sexual harassment, child abuse, and violence, especially in appropriate links. So, this is the end of the slideshow. Goodbye. I'll see you next time.